Hey folks, welcome back to another Service Shorts. This is Dave Q with Flowtrend. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Gia Tukanagan PMO valve. Specifically, we're going to cover the PMO 06 valve. Uh, this is the version that was first approved for 24-7 milk production in U.S. dairy plants. Uh, they do have another version out now, the PMO 2.0 valve. It's uh, considerably smaller in size. This version that came out in 06, it required that the leakage cavity be the same diameter uh, as the largest process port. So um, these valves can be quite heavy. If you've got three inch, maybe four inch manifolds, you have got your work cut out for you when you're doing service. Uh, like I said, they can be quite heavy uh, and a bit of a challenge to work on. I think um, three inch and up, I think are over a hundred pounds each. So. Before we dig into maintenance on it, I just want to give a quick overview of the valve, go over the components, um, you know, cover the terminology. Every OAM may be slightly different, so just want to give an, an outline of what components are installed on the valve here. So uh, starting left to right on your screen here, uh, we've got the switch bar for the control top. We've taken the control top off just for ease of video, but this this switch bar is for the Tevis uh, M1 or the M15. That's their mechanical um, mechanical setup control module. We then have the actuator for the main stroke of the valve. Underneath that is the lifting actuator to do the independent seat lifts during CIP. We then have the valve lantern or the valve yoke. Then the valve housing or the valve body. And finally, we have the balancer cleaning device, which is needed uh, to external CIP of the uh, the surface of the lower balancer. So we've also got a nice cutaway model here on display so we can take a look at the inside. Um, you can see the valve is double balanced. Both the upper and lower disc are balanced, so it's quite resistant to water hammers. This design, both seats are radial gaskets, both the upper disc and the lower disc. There is an axial seat that's in between uh, installed on the upper disc and that just seals off the leakage cavity when the valve is in the full open uh, position. 